this is a photograph of um, Duffy's shop and Tom Hagen's butcher shop in Bridge Street. Um, that's interesting, Jack, when you look at uh, the advertisements for cigarettes up on the wall. Oh, and they seem so. Uh, Gold Flake and Will, Will's Wild <laughs> Woodbine. And, uh, of course, it's not allowed nowadays. Yeah. And we'll try and name, and Gold Flake, a huge sign. Gosh, that must be 15 feet by 12 feet. Yeah. It's bigger than the gates, Tom Hagen's yeah. gates. Yeah. On the side of Connolly's, that would have been Pat Connolly's at the time, yeah. of course. We'll try and name some of the people here from the left-hand side. That's Gerard of Brian Kilday. Or we can pick out Jack Hennessy. That's Jack Carton. Yeah. Jack Nally. That's Sergeant Foley. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Jack McInerney from Clonard Street. Yeah. That's uh, Joe Sheehan and and his wife. She was a, a dun from the Scaries Road. Yeah. Or she is a dun from the Scaries Road. That's Dingo Mary. That chap there just on the right hand side of the window is Phil Gilson. Standing in the corner here is um, with the glasses. With the glasses is Jack Cochran. And the man with the what did they call Jack the Glazer? The Glazer. They had another name, Nanny How or something. Did they call him Nanny How? I don't know where the, which one was. And uh, that's Hugh Kennedy. Hugh Kennedy from he used to be a walk in the mill. He walked in gallons. Yeah, it's a great lot of people in that. There was Bill what? 1972. 72. Yeah, 1972. We're going now to a slightly different area. This is wartime stuff. This was a window break, and I think it was 1940, 45 or something. You know. This were, was the command for uh, of the local forces in the Valbriggan area, I presume. It was taken in Gallon's Garden, up at the at George's Hill. George's Hill. If we if uh, if we wanted to be bold, we used to call it Landy's Lane. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know why. I presume because Landy's must have lived in it. There was a, you know, Jim Cairns had the the garage. Yes. Well, this side of that, there was a little house of woman. I knew her, walked there, I lived there, Mrs. Landy. She's a relation of Eileen Carton, so she was. Yes, I and don't she, remember her. And the half door, and she had all the old papers, cuttings, paste her up in the hallway. All of them, she uses wallpaper. But all interesting would, articles. Yeah, would have made a great photograph on it. I hadn't got a camera at the time. Can we name any of these people? Yeah, there they are. Oh, yeah. Right, Rose. Yeah, was a right. W.F. Comiskey. Yeah, he was the coal man, of course. Yeah. They're coal people. Yeah. Corporal. A corporal from Gormanston Camp. Gormanston Camp. Yeah, having his Roy name. Gallen. Yeah, he was a son of. Uh, Charles. Charles Gallen. Yeah. Tom. Tiernan. Tiernan. Paddy. Delaney. Paddy Delaney, from he's from Lee's Town. Yeah, Carbalis, I think, yeah. was their house, wasn't it? John. Leonard. Leonard. And in the front Peter row, Peter Keane. And then Charles Gallen. Commandant F. Ahern. Mr. Cody. That That's Mr. Cody, the, the school, principal yeah. of the school. Yeah. He lived in Scaries. Yeah. Uh, Commandant Heffron. Yeah. And Jim, Jim Walsh. Was that, that Jim Walsh? Jim Walsh from. Jim Walsh's grandfather. From number Prince, one Gibbons. Prince, of, Prince and Walsh's father. Yeah, from one, one Gibbons Terrace yeah. he lived. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Sure lived in the same street. Just looking at Sean Cody there. Um, really he taught. Sean Cody taught um, woodwork. Yeah. in the school yeah. and uh, he was the principal as well and Paddy Hurley was the caretaker, was the caretaker at the time yeah. Lord have mercy on them yeah, yeah mm. that's a good picture 
And that whole place is gone now, of course. That's where the up where the new post office yeah. is, isn't it? Roughly or opposite that, that yeah. area, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the back. That'd be the old house there now. Gallons. Oh, yeah, and, and the house there. was called George's Hill, yeah. of course, yeah. 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 I have photographs of it, the door of it. No. And this here on the left hand side, that would have been the red brick building which is the part park. of Smoiko. Yeah. Yeah. From the left hand side, and this is a general view of Balbriggan taken from Clannard, from the hill at Clannard. It's extraordinary, Jack. Look, in the foreground we have the haycocks. Look. Yeah. Yeah. And so running from the left hand side we can see Gallons. That'd be Gallons chimney. Yeah. Would it? No, it can't be. It's the it's the chimney of the gas works. The gas works, is it? And then and run, going right along. What was this? It it looked like a big Nissan hut yeah. just on the corner of the of the head, as we used to call it. I them. never remember any of that, except you people used to use it as a stores. Yeah. I never remember any work in it. And uh, just in behind that, uh, Mrs. McKeown used to keep geese. Yeah, just remember there. that. Yeah. Then you can see the Protestant church and the library just in under it. The library would have been brand new, hardly finished. At hardly that finished. Time. It looks new there, doesn't it? Because this photograph was taken soon after the turn of the yeah. century. And you can see the houses there at the back lane. And was then, that known as Foxhall Street then, Jack? Foxhall Street then, yeah. But people used to, wouldn't say in the back lane, because there was so, beside the canal that say, well, if somebody fancy said, and where do you live? I live, it wouldn't say in the back lane, or Fox and say, Lake View. Lake View. You know. <laughs> well, that's, that's a whole compound, a square of houses yeah. there. Yeah. And that's where, of course, the, the Savoy Cinema was subsequently it's built. Built there. And it's the, the town community, community centre now. now. And you come up forward then. Sorry, just before you, you go, Jack, can we have a look there in the background? That'd be um, sure. Bedford, Bedford, Bedford House. House there, and that one there is Lara yeah. at the corner. Where the Sunshine Sunshine House now is. Sunshine House, that's pre-Sunshine yeah. House, of course. Yeah. And the white ones here, they, they were known as the steps. They'd be up near the fo where the forge was. And they were called the steps to Granny Tom. Because, in fact, they were, I looked at them, Joe, some years ago, about mm. 10 years ago. They were still there, but they're gone now. There used to be two or three steps going up to them. Well, you can actually see the steps yeah, up into that and one yeah, there. Yeah, the, the Granny used to live there where the steps was. Jack, it's, it's a, quite a village here at the back. Isn't it? From, from, from the, the, mill, the down. mill down, running down yeah. that back lane. I suppose there were people that walked in the mill, probably. Yeah. You know? Well, of course, I, I know that the mill was, in the old days, it was Kenny and Walsh, or Walsh yeah, and Kenny. Yeah. And I remember seeing, I've been told, that the two side altar uh, stained glass windows were donated by Kenny and Walsh. And I think they were put in around uh, the year 19... 100, roughly yeah. 1900, or just yeah. before 1900. Yeah. This here would be the market house. That This would be the market house that you would yeah. see here. And this house here is is where John... Is, that's John Gallon's house. 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 Yeah. You know, what pops of me. I remember Bransfield's living that's in right. that. I don't know who lived in it before no. them. And the, you can see the house in the bower then, the bower houses. There, Frank, that's Frank Court. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a terrific yeah. photograph, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a but isn't the town very small when you look at it there? Yeah. yeah. But so what do you call it? Yeah. Them houses, would they be in the Hampton, the sale of Hampton there? I wonder who lived in them, John. Must have a look. I, yeah, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think, think they were. were on them. Oh, I don't think they were. They These were. are the ones on the right hand side behind the yeah. mill. Yeah. And if they were workers, there was another photograph, Jack. It was a colour photograph. And in that photograph, there were. The white sheets. Big white is sheets, is that what they were? Well, they were, they were linen. Yeah. And they had the bleach still in it to get it white and to put it out in the sun. Well, weren't they lucky to have sun? Weren't they? Uh, <laughs> they mightn't be so lucky the last three years then. But you know, every, they're all whitewashed. Yeah. 
you know, all white washed. Well, of hands. course, white washed. Well, in the in the eighteen seventy five sale of Hampton, mm. you see it in the book. It says uh, uh, shilling a week or nine pence a week. Mister, say Jack Benton lives here. Uh, 10 feet from the main road or 20 feet behind and on who live next door but a shilling a week I, on condition that you whitewash your house once a year yes you know and down actually where the central pub is now that had uh, it was belonged to a Miss Dorothy Padgett and she paid three and six months a week and the next uh, six months a week if she didn't get her corn ground in the local mill because the Hampton owned the mill yeah, oh, well, that was a regular thing yeah. that you had to support and, and your local mill. There's part that about the boat, isn't there? The, the, uh, somebody had to support a boat. What did they call it? Yeah, I there don't, a, I don't recall woman, that. Yeah, yeah, there's a woman in Clannard Street, she had to pay to the wherry. To the wherry, yeah. She had to pay to the upkeep of the wherry. Yes. You know. Boy, I don't. I know. Well, of course, they were able to tie all those sort of things in in those days. But should they still tie things in? If you look at management fees now in blocks of apartments. Oh, yeah, the same thing. Same idea. Yeah. Same yeah. idea. Yeah. Uh, it's a brilliant picture, though, for that time, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, so sharp. Well, of course, they use very, very big negatives. Yeah. I mean, the negative itself would be 10 inches by 8 inches. So oh, yeah. it was ideal but the haycocks that really takes my fancy yeah. yeah because haycocks were just starting to become a thing of the past and well, a young lad you look at the trees over there i think that's the orchard that would be the orchard indeed yeah because that's yeah. bedford house yeah the orchard is now the playground for the sunshine, the sunshine house the one on the other side of the road you know and that was all the trees were there it was called the orchard there's a lot of trees quite all the way along yeah. uh, in the area, yeah. a lot of greenery. We seem to be able yeah. to get everything made of concrete now and expect yeah, wildlife to survive. You look at all the trees that's around, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, 